Welcome to Cakeology. You know who this is. B.O.B. None but the best of the best. If you guys are interested in money, business, and credit, you're in the right place. Cakeology, the science of success, baby. All right, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Now, today I want to talk about the cost of building business credit because you know beyond popular belief nothing in life is free okay it's not a free ride you're not just gonna sit on the couch and and and, and, and fruit and salad and grapes are just gonna come to you on trays and flowers are gonna be distributed at your feet it doesn't work like that okay so what's the cost of building business credit let's talk about it baby let's go All right, all right. Now, first and foremost, we know how business credit is created. That's the number one thing I need you guys to know. Business credit is created through you guys actually doing business with net 30 vendors, okay? Not only net 30 vendors, but banks, credit cards, lending institutions, uh, you know, supply companies, your, you know, maybe the vendors that you already have existing in your business, all of that is what's going to create that business credit. But not all vendors are created equal, right? So only vendors that actually report to the business credit bureaus are actually going to show up on that report. Okay. That's how business credit is created. All right. Now, in the beginning, it is very, very important for us to understand that there's a cost associated with it. Now, not a humongous cost, but it all depends on what you want to do. There's some uh, uh, people out there that are charging thousands of dollars to, for a, a, a website that'll help you do it. Okay. Me, I'm charging a fraction of that. Okay. And I help you hold your hand through it. Okay. If you guys want to know more about it, schedule a free 15 minute consultation. The link is in the description below. Also, if you guys are looking for net 30 vendor accounts that report like clockwork all the time, every time and help your new business even grow without a personal credit check well, the link to those net 30 vendors is also in the description below. Let's start from the beginning. When we're talking about building business credit fresh, okay? Just fresh out of the box. You're a brand new baby. You're a brand new company. We wanna build that business credit. Well, we're gonna have to do business with vendors, okay? And what I mean by doing business is we're gonna have to spend a little bit of money, all right? Now we've all heard, hey, spend $50, $100, $150, yes. OK, it is the cost of doing business. OK, in the beginning, a lot of business credit is pay to play. I'm going to be honest with you. OK, so that little hundred fifty dollars that you might spend uh, or that subscription that you might get. Believe me, that is all worth it. And it's going to come back to you 10, 20 fold in the end as far as the credit that you'll be able to get. OK, the number one thing that businesses have a hard time with are finding the vendors that report and that report on time, that report positively, and that report without a personal credit check. Once again, two of the hottest ones in the link in the description below. How many vendors do we want to get? Well, we want to get as many as we can, to be honest with you, okay? I like to see 10 to 15 vendors reporting on Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax. If you want to know all the vendors, I got them. I got the list. I got the complete list and I can help you and walk you through the whole process, okay? link for the free 15 minute consult in the description below. Now, each one of those vendors is going to want you to spend a little bit of money. Okay. So you might have a subscription of 39, $49 a month. How much is that? Okay. So if I'm not good at math, so 50 times 10 is 500. And then we got two months left over. So 600. Okay. $600 in subscriptions. Okay. Plus you might spend a hundred, hundred fifty dollars with that vendor. Okay. Now say that, you know, you did that with a couple of different vendors. So say, say we averaged it to a hundred dollars that you spent. So, so let's just say you spent $2,000. Okay. $2,000. And I'm talking about if you spent it with 10 different vendors, that $2,000, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to come back to you in just one credit card in one line of credit. You can get 10, 15, $20,000. Okay. Now, 
that's with vendors. That's sp us spending money with vendors. Another very, very important thing is that we have the foundation of our business right. Okay, so we might want, we have to have a website. How much does a website cost? Well, one of the vendors in the link in the description, they do, they do websites on credit, right? For I think like four, $400, four or $500. Okay, so you can get a website on credit. You can get a logo on credit. You can get a business plan on credit. You can get a lot of things on credit and still build that net 30 vendor account, right? So we need a website. We need an address. Now, what I always recommend is that you have an actual business address. You can get one like a little hole in the wall address for a couple two, three hundred dollars a month. Okay, it's all good. It's going to come back in the end. All right. What else do we need? We need a we need a, a domain with a professional email. OK, how much is that? Well, hosting. What is that? Twenty dollars a month website, you know, four or five hundred at the most. You can create it yourself, too. OK. And a phone number. What about a phone number? Well, you can get all kinds of different phone numbers out here for pretty cheap. Twenty, thirty dollars a month at the most. Put a professional voicemail greeting on there. Put it on your website, have a nice one page website and put all that information on there. OK, that's the cost of doing business. That's what it takes in the very beginning for us to get started. All right. Don't sweat the small stuff. I want you guys to think long term, big picture. If you're watching this channel, believe me, it's all cake, no candles. I'm thinking millions and I don't think anything else. OK, we're going to have our points where we've got, you know, uh, uh, we, we do dumb stuff. We got we got we got we, we got we got the peaks. We got the valleys. We got all that. OK, but the thing is, is we're going to stay undefeated, baby. And undefeated means that we're not going to quit. That's the major thing. Just keep going. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. I'm going through all kinds of stuff right now. You know what I mean? So uh, it's difficult, but just take a step in the right direction on a daily basis. I know we're going to make mistakes. I know we're going to have uh, a, a couple steps back sometimes, but just keep pushing. Keep keep love in the air. Stay positive. I know it's not easy. I, I, I go off the chain, too, sometimes. But just try to stay positive. Keep peace and love in the air. And remember, I'm here for you, baby. If you need me, let's talk. Free 15 minute consultation. I don't care what's going on in your life. Let's talk. OK, let's talk about it all. Personal business, whatever. Let's help us grow each other. That's why I started on YouTube. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, by the way, because that's why I'm on YouTube is to build these relationships more than anything else. It's that mindset. And I know it's easier said than done because I'm going through it right to keep that mindset positive and to keep it going in the right direction. But one thing for sure is it's going to happen. We're not going to be defeated. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, two or three videos every week. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm headed towards 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully I need you guys to help me get there. Now, if you have questions, also leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, check out all the links in the description. If you need any help, I'm out here for you, baby. B.O.B. Nothing but the best of the best. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace and love, baby.